Welcome back to Bay Purview. This is episode number nine of the podcast. Today we have Josh from Floss and Supply. There you go. Out at Silverdale. Yeah, Silverdale. Yeah. Great to have you on today. Thanks for having me, bro. Uh, not a problem at all. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. Let's go. Give us a quick rundown of who you are and how you got to here, I yeah. guess. It's a bit of a long story, but first off, my name's Josh Spina, 24 years old. Um, come from Silverdale and um, I'm the owner of Floss and Supply we're a skate brand um, we do limited edition no restock clothing um, skate supplies coming in 2021 yep but um, essentially this you're going to start doing boards again yeah 100% Mad. I'm so keen to do boards again like everyone's asking like when are these boards coming out when are these boards coming out I'm just like oh it's all a process guys you know? yeah but um, essentially this is my seventh business attempt in three years yep um, I used to do I used to work for a company called Civic Civil Engineering. They okay. do slip form paving and um, pretty much like uh, barrier walls and highways. Mm-hmm. So I was a concrete finisher every now and then for them. Like, But we just floated around sort yep. of thing. But, um, In the elements all day. Pretty much. Just like yep. as soon as the concrete's here, there's no brakes on yep. that sort of stuff. Unless you're doing like road paving, it's a bit okay. different. But um, my old man did that for... 20 years or something yeah right I followed in his footsteps nice as you do as you do yep. and and then I worked for my old man for a bit too I had like other jobs here and there but those are the main two my dad builds like um, big community pools and stuff nice and um, at the end of the day like I just I remember my dad saying if you got an idea or a dream right like, just, just don't be like me and you know like just think about it just go for it yep. like you're young you need to realise how much time you actually have and grab it with both hands and run yeah and I remember like there was a couple of times at work like I just seen my dad like you know my dad's worked away pretty much my whole life yep like since I was young since I was about seven or eight um he's always worked away so like even though my parents are still together it was kind of like living with just one parent with like, yeah. just living with it was just me and mum growing up and yep. so um that was one thing that I was like you know if I ever do like have something that does take off I want to bring me dad home that's all I want to do yep 100% you know, retire him or something so he can just be at home but essentially yeah I was working there and then had the idea to start like a clothing brand so yep. a brand the first brand I ever had that sort of like I sold products on like I dabbled in a few different ideas and then came up with um, Refuse to Sink nice Co. I have seen that on your TikTok and yeah, stuff yeah yeah so that was my first brand there's still like a few t-shirts here floating around and that on the internet and I see people in Penrith and that wearing them a lot because a lot of people from out Penrith bought them and that yep. like all my mates at the time that's um, mad but yeah that was the f- sort of the first idea I don't really like, I think I was just going through a lot when I was like in my head like is this going to work and I was very careful yeah. things like that. so I ended up shutting it down um, really really early on and everyone was yeah, like right. what happened you know like what happened to it and I was yeah. like no don't want to do it you know just gets like that you get a bit overwhelmed yeah, just like got overwhelmed, I just got cold feet, you know, yep. and I was just like, you know what, I'm in way too deep. So I kicked back, ended up getting a mentor. Okay. Um, I'm not with him anymore. I'm with a, like a new mentor. I've got another mentor. Yep. But um, I did like this online course because I didn't know what like mentoring was. Yeah. Everything sort of just like dove into it. It was like a thousand dollar course or something. Oh, yeah. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Like, yep. I'm a dude working 10 hours a day with my old man at the time. And I was just like, I want to make it out, you know, just like. I was in a very, different I would say, place. like, very different place mentally. I was in a very, very bad way yep. mentally. Okay. But also, I was looking for that quick money scheme bullshit. Yep. Like, I was like, you know, how can I get out of this as quick as possible? Yep. And then, you know, three years later and seven business attempts, I've realized that. <laughs> the quick way doesn't The quick way doesn't, doesn't exist. No. And in its essence, financial freedom is... That's it's how you make it. You know, exactly. like financial freedom might not be a million dollars. It might be that's being right. able to cover your bills but do what you love. And yep. that's what I think financial freedom is. But um, I had I did have like so I had a couple of like I dabbled in a bit of um, in a bit of uh, like drop shipping as well. Okay. Um, didn't really like that business model. I yep. felt like it was a little bit scammy. Yeah, hundred percent. It was. It didn't feel authentic. Like I pride myself on authenticity and yep. hard work. Just that's being yourself. I, yeah, and that's all I know, like, whether it's, you know, whether I was out concreting or out working with my dad, 
or, or doing my brand, yep. it, that's all I know is hard work, yep. work ethic, work rate is different. And, um, you know, that's where the whole built different thing came from, yep. the hustle over struggle logos and things like that because, you know, my dad gave me that, you know, like my dad... That mentality. Like, it doesn't matter if, like... My grandfather worked hard as well. He came from Italy um, yep. on a warship and, you know, struggled and then built a life. And it was all hard. Well, our whole family built on hard work. Yep. So that's all we know. But he said, like, you can work hard and work smart at the same time. That's right. Like, just because you're not out there concrete anymore doesn't mean you have no you're not, strife. That's or, right. It doesn't know. mean you're not working hard. Yeah. Just because you're not doing the, the labour right. side of just things. Just because you're not in a hive, you're just coming home every that's day. That's right. You know, hard work comes in all different types of forms. Because I used right. to be like, you know, got to work real hard, like physically. But well, that's you know, what's pumped into you when you're young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I was going down that way, and my dad said, don't be like me, you know, like, yep. just if you got the opportunity, run with it, kid. Fuck yeah. You know? And um, so, yeah, I had Doom skateboards, which was like another. I had Doomed Apparel, which was like another go at an apparel company, clothing company. And it was just... you done that for a little while? Yeah. It, I think I sold like <laughs> 10, 10 items yeah, in nice. like six months or something. I, was, I didn't know how to run Facebook ads. Yep. I didn't know how to, how to target. I'm still struggling with that. <laughs> I, the only thing I run on... Like I haven't run Facebook ads at all for yep. for this... This I've whole only, drop. Like I only run retargeting ads. Yep. So like from customers that I've already bought to keep That's them right. in the sort of loop to, sort of to keep them back. coming back. Yep. But I, don't, I still don't know how to run target interest of Facebook ads. Like, that's I try and it cost me way too much money. That's why I don't do yeah. it now. But that's why I say to people, like, even my mentor said, because I said to him, like, I couldn't afford, like, when I... Because, like, I lost my job when I started this brand. So I had Doom yeah, Skateboards. Right. So it's gone from Doom, to, like, apparel to Doom Skateboards. Yep. It was going up. And then, you know, I had a lot of... Um, like personal things going on Mm -hmm. you know I'd broken up with someone I'd lost a child in between that so like I was just like I need to step back and reevaluate my situation so I can change your life man yeah and and that was the big eye opener for me and like I know it sounds like super heavy but I'm really authentic so I've got to tell it how it is and when I lost a baby and stuff you know and I'm surrounded by this negative aesthetic of things and then doom skateboards and it's like just so much on your shoulders so much and like I just felt like my negative energy is starting to feed out to those people. It's not what I want for these yeah, people because yep. I'm very, like, starting to push out. Yeah, like I'm, and I'm very heavy on the mental health thing, especially because mm-hmm. like I had an uncle that passed away from suicide. You know, I've had mates pass away, things like that. Like, we need as much positive energy Definitely. in the world right now Definitely. more than anything. So I was like, you know what, I need to sit down and fucking reevaluate what I'm actually doing in my yep. life. What am I trying to achieve, and what is the outcome I want for my people? Like for definitely, you know, I call the followers the floss and family because yeah. they're, they're not fans to me. It's like it's a family. community. That's right. You know, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna sit back and reevaluate. I went to my friend Coupe's house. He runs a company called Dream Skate Co. Yep. And um, he's a new company from this year. I think it's his first brand, but he's doing really well. And I, I went over there and we we're just talking, and he was talking to me about Doomed, and he's like, you know, like what are you gonna do? And I said, to be honest, Coupe, I don't. Don't know. I don't think I'm gonna continue with doing like I don't it's not for me, it's not who I am inside. Yep. Like as much as I love it, it's cool and stuff. The 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 way I'm trying to portray things is you know, you can't have a negative aesthetic brand and then try to try promote to it as positive. Promote it as positive. It's not gonna happen. Like Doom literally means damnation of all things. Yeah, yep. Um and then I was like, you know what? And I had this drawing that was like a prayer hands drawing. Yep. And I was looking at it and I just wrote... Because me and my friend Dean, he rides for the company, um, Dean Few. He has like been there since the start before like we started Doomed. And I was the one that proposed the idea to him. Like, oh, you know, I want to do a skate brand. That'd be fucking yeah. sick, you know? Thinking that we're like the only people to ever think of that idea yeah. at the time. <laughs> But, you know, I was like, you know, and he's been there since the start. And we always used to say, yeah, we'll be flossing soon. Like, yeah. We'll be living good, you know, yeah. well, like. And um, and then I just was looking at this drawing and I just wrote flossing on top of it. And I just was like, hey, what do you reckon about this? That's bad. It was kind of just a spontaneous roll of the tongue. And he yep. was like, flossing. And he's like, what, but flossing skateboards? No, nah, it doesn't sound right. And then I was like, flossing this and that. I'm going through all the things. Yeah. And I was like. I'm very heavily infatuated by Nicky Diamonds who runs Diamond Supply. Yeah. And I was like, how about Floss and Supply? That sounds sick. Yeah. You know? And um, and he was like, yeah, all right, that sounds good, bro. You know, what are you going to do for it? And I said, I don't know, give me a few days. And then I started coming up with the ideas and, 
you know, like the outlook Doing of the brand. Like, yeah. And even with TikTok, like I didn't start going hard with TikTok, like because it's such a new platform. But I said to my mentor, I don't have money to promote this shit. Yep. I'm going to do it organically. But TikTok and is the best the best platform for super pretty underrated. much anything right now. Super duper underrated. Like I yep. urge anyone with a small brand, just palm TikTok. It doesn't yep. matter if you get 50 views That's or right. 20,000 views. It's free. Yeah. It doesn't cost a thing. You're not going to get that on Facebook. You're not going to get it on Instagram. That's right. And it's it's only a matter of time until that disappears. 100%. So 6 to 12 months time, like the the cost to get into Facebook ads and and all the rest of it is just to target the people you want. Yeah. It's just so saturated. Yeah. So to get into that, it just costs you a lot of money to get it in front of those eyeballs. Yeah. Whereas TikTok... You can pay to run ads on there, you but can. you don't need to because really the reach is still ridiculous from yeah. the get go. One hundred percent, and I think that I think a lot of people get um, discouraged because they're not seeing results. Yeah, like you know, I was posting one to three times a day. Yeah, right. You know, and now I post nearly like without a joke. You guys can check it on probably the TikTok, twenty, about twenty. Yeah, like fifth. I'd say an average around fifteen overall yep. in seven days, but sometimes I post like twenty to thirty times a day. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I'm scrolling through my feed. I'm like, fuck, this guy is just smashing it. It's about consistency. Yeah, 100%. You know, and like, because I pride myself on being authentic with the audience, yep. talking to them about their life, you know, something that I say to them might inspire them yes. or, help, or help their life in some way. Definitely. To me, it's not about, oh, you know, I made this much money or this yep. many sales, although that is a blessing to me. 100%. And I'm super grateful for the people that... You can't grow the brand without that. I can't grow the brand without this philosophy family. Yep. But at the same time, I'm not looking at... Like, yes, it'd be nice to be a million. Everybody wants to be a million. That's but right. I, oh, money is just a repercussion of your hustle. Whatever yes. you do, whatever hard work you put in is what you're going to get out. If you put out positive energy to what it come back to you. You're going to get it back. That's right. You know, I really believe in that energy because, like, yep. when I was throwing out negative energy and, you know, I wouldn't say I was undercutting people, but, yep. you know, people might throw shade on me, so I'll throw double shade their way. And it comes, it back, like it comes that, back to you. Yeah. You know, t- it's like the two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah. You know, and then I started getting hate from the new brand when I dropped the new brand. Like, and then I hadn't even launched any products yet, and I'm going through all this, and I just started spreading love. I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, this person's on a on a, a screen, yep. and they might have a really shit life, or they might be yep. going through something. They just need to throw out that negative energy. So yep. I'm just gonna throw positive energy back at them. Fuck yeah! And like people were like buying my product because of the fact that I just dealt with people like that like yep. show them love but yep. Gary V speaks on that all the time yeah man like being humble just be gracious empathy, have the gratitude all being the time being grateful yep like you know and I, I really I really like I feed off that because like the chances of us being born is like one in 400 trillion or something it's ridiculous you know yeah. that's not really something I want to waste like getting upset that somebody said that something bad about you or doesn't yeah, agree yeah, with what like, you're doing it's just like well thanks but thanks like, like, yeah, yeah, thanks for your like, opinion you yeah know? but I've had a lot of people turn around and be like I'm sorry for what I said and it's like it's fine like yeah. don't don't stress like everybody goes through that like I right. only know that because I was that person yep. when I was 18 I was reckless you know like and that it takes a lot for you to be able to look back and go fuck like yeah like that's look, what I was yeah yeah and I, I sometimes forget like like, because obviously nobody's perfect, but I sometimes forget that of how, like, how fuck my life was. Like, yep. I was just, like, in the hole for years, man. Like, yeah, right. just, like, full it's blown dangerous place, negative man. thoughts, self-harm, suicide thoughts all the time. Like, I didn't go get any help. I urge anyone, if you ever have you anything need like that, if go you and need, seek go help. and get help. Yep. I was that, that stubborn prick that was like, no, I'm fucking too good for that you're, shit. You're, you're fine, yeah. You know, but I wasn't. Yep. Really wasn't fine, and there was a there was a few times like that. Even a, a even a good mate, just to listen, because mm. I've been through a few situations where you have a chat with a few mates and they're like, "Oh, you be alright, bro." Just you know, yeah. like they kind of just brush it off. Whether yeah. it's because they can't deal with their demons, so yeah. they can't they help you. That. That's right. So, but I'm yeah, I've been lucky enough. You're Sorry, right, bro. Make as much noise <laughs> as you want, bro. So yeah, I've been through a few situations where. Um, the guy I met in New Zealand just a random that I was working with just randomly asked me one day he's like how are you doing man yeah. and I was just like yeah I'm alright and he goes no no how are you really how are doing, you doing? Yeah. like because he knew the situation moving over there and all the rest of it and it yeah but it's just like a punch in the chest it's like fuck it's like no one's like actually ever asked yeah. me how I was doing before yeah. and then you have that conversation and it's 
it's not that they need to say anything back to you. You just need to get it out. Yeah. You and then from there, it's just like clean slate. It's just like, fuck. It's like, it's like a weight massive weight. Shoulder. 100%. 100%. And that's how I felt like, because I've gone all, like, you know, I'd gone through all this shit prior, like with surrounding myself with toxic people, yep. getting in toxic relationships, being toxic to other people. I'm not yep. going to say that I was perfect. Fuck, I was a shit boyfriend back yep. in the day, bro. <laughs> Sorry to my ex Yeah, we've all been there. Shit. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, life is a very big learning curve and you've got to understand where you know what lesson to take away like like yeah you're gonna suffer some loss but not all losses are losses that's a right. lot of them are blessings in disguise a lot of lessons, lessons. a lesson you, you know. need to be uh, conscious enough 100%. to recognise that it was a lesson 100%. it hasn't just pushed you back in the yeah. hole like it's like this is a opportunity to, to get out of the to hole to even to evolve and that's right it's one of those things even this year like yes a lot of people might hear this and be like I didn't know that some people might already know but like yep. when I I was that dude that thought, just thought I was too good like yep. you know go around sleep with girls do yep. whatever the fuck I want have no regret you standard know, 18 I'll, year old problems yeah, yeah like but I'm but I'm like you know 24 and I'm still thinking like that yeah at the start of this year and then I went through all this it was like God was like fine you wanna you wanna have a you wanna have a you crack wanna, yeah. then here deal with this situation and it was like yep. you know and this girl found out she was pregnant and I'm like fuck I'm gonna be dad this is when I still own Doom Skateboard so yep. this is at the start of the year and start then, of this year yeah start fuck. of this year and I'm like we weren't gonna keep it at first and then and then you know we decided to and then all this other shit happened like I'm not gonna go into full detail yep. but then we ended up you know arguing and I'm not gonna be a dad anymore and you know she's we've gone separate ways and yep. it is what it is like and that was just really heavy to do with like yeah, I couldn't imagine that. You know, and the, the first person that found out was my mentor because, like, you know, he's the one that was, like, helping me, you know, strategize, like, how I'm going to do my business and things like that. Yep. And, you know, I've been, like, hammering him too because, yeah. you know, he's got this, you know, he's a millionaire, I'm looking up to him. He's, yep. And then I'm, like, but I'm doing my own thing over here, like, yeah. trying to do what he's doing but on a budget. Yep. But he knew everything I was going through and I just rang him and said, look, bro, I just lost a baby. Like, I'm yeah. going to take some time off. And then that's why I went through all the motions and then Fuck. come back on my feet a little bit, bit by bit. Like, the, the craziest thing I think... I actually went back to faith. I used to be an atheist. Yeah. But I'm definitely... That was definitely just for me. Like, I'm not trying to push my religion on anyone. Yeah. Believe in whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Like, nobody's perfect. Every sin has a past, every sin has got a future. Yeah. But for me, it was like, this is my wake-up call. If, if you continue down this path, you will most certainly die. Yeah, like that. You need to you, do. You need to. You need to do something. something. Yep. You know, I, I went through a lot of personal development, self development, self help, meditation. Yep. Still practice that every day, and you know, forgiveness, self forgiveness. Definitely. You know, forgiving other people for like whatever happened. Yep. Forgiveness in each other. Mm-hmm. You know, and to move like, forward. Yeah, to move forward because yep. at the end of the day, like I said, we're all human, and. You know, you have to... Like, no one's pure. No. But we can try our best. But I think if you stay authentic and realise, oh, this path is not meant for me. Yep. That's why nothing is working. That's right. You know, stop trying to go down that path. Like, yep. I've, you know, lost a lot of friends due to, you know, doing drugs or drinking too much. You know, yep. I don't even drink anymore. I haven't drank for ages. I have one every now and then. Yep. Like, I'm not full-blown... Same boat. straighty 180, but, like, yep. I might have a beer with my old man, but yep. I'm not going to go to the pub and spend $500 on nah, a Friday night. Mate. I can't do that anymore. You know, it used to be real bad for it. Like, I changed... Like, after this situation happened this year, I was like, you know what? I need to fucking change my life. And it needs a big change. And it was like that. It was just like a big... Light switch. Boom. Yep. That's what you're doing with your life. And don't go back. Yep. Don't don't look... Like, look back to remember where you come from. Don't ever forget where you come from. That's fuel to keep going forward. But you must keep going this way. Yep. Because that way was not for you, you know? It's crazy. Yeah. That's fucking mental. Yeah, it's... You know, but that's the struggle. That the, is, that's the, the hustle, hustle over struggle. struggle yeah, hundred percent. That's where that came from. I was yep. like, you know what? It was like it was like the universe or God, whatever, telling me if you want it, you got to hustle for it. Yeah, you got to work for you it. Got to grind for it. And it's not going to be easy. That's right. Um, I think it's a. I listen. To, I watch way too many podcasts and stuff on YouTube. <laughs> I'm the same. I drive truck, man. I'm in the truck for 13 yeah, hours, so the imagine. phone's on the dash, and it's on it's YouTube, just, pumping yeah. podcasts and just watching stuff, just trying to absorb as much as I can all day. Yeah. So I can't. 
I can't be on my phone all day. I yeah. can, but I. <laughs> That's like <laughs> if the wrong person sees it, I. Yeah, it's bad news. But um, I'm pretty sure it is. Gary Vee talks about uh, like you want the opportunity. The opportunity is going to be given to you, mm-hmm. but it's not going to be the opportunity you want. Someone's yeah. not just going to walk over to you and go, oh, "Hey, is oh, this here, what you want to do?" Is. They're going to give you like you're going to be presented with a struggle, a test, yeah. and you're going to have to overcome that yeah, to exactly right. to gain the confidence or the courage to to, to take that next step exactly. or overcome yeah. overcome that hurdle. But people don't see that. They no. go, "Fuck another fucking roadblock. Another Why does this always happen to me? Oh, fuck you, God. Why does this happen to me?" Yeah, exactly. But that's what I mean. That's a test. Yeah, hundred percent. If you can recognize that being like you know say you really like someone for example yep they don't fucking like you back that's your test bro yeah that's it you know or even my situation like I I hope that it never happens to anyone like that but for me in order because I'm so I was that's so crazy. stubborn stuck in that mind state yep. it was like life's telling me alright you want a fucking real test bro deal with that shit yep you know are you gonna come out better yep. yes I did come out better but I'm scarred from it yeah. as well you know that's how I've dealt with it that's how I see it you know, people who know me might have a different opinion. To be honest, it's my fucking life. Yeah, that's it's not right. Their life, they can view it. How Everyone's they want. entitled to an opinion. Everybody's <laughs> entitled to opinion. Like, like the other day, you know, someone was like, "Why would you do that to your ears with the big like oh, 25 millimeters?" I see it. I see it on your yeah. TikTok all the time. And just like, like, man, I'm like, why the fuck like, do people who care? Who cares? Yeah. Like, but at the end of the day, my side to your side, bro. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's like it's like you looking at a six and I'm looking at the nine. Everyone's got a different opinion. Hundred percent. And, but it's how you take it because like yep. at the end of the day a lot of people focus on what's the outlook yep. like what 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 are those people thinking of me That's to right. me I used to be like that yep. now like I don't give a flying fuck yeah, 100%. You know? especially in the skate scene like for some reason and I'm not calling out any brands I haven't got any problem with any other brands like in the small where we're all small skate mm-hmm. scene but like you know it'll be the other people that don't run brands talking shit like 100%. Oh, this person and this and that yep. who fucking cares bro it's not your life like focus on your life bro exactly. like do what you want to do with your life don't worry about what old mate's doing over That's here right. you know worry about your your hustles bro. That's right. you know I'm worried I'm focused You're on doing my, you you know yep. it's kind of like 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 Nipsey Hussle like he just did himself all the time 100% you know didn't really he's a cop some shit man he's, he's a, a cop some for flight. being real bro you know it's it it's kind of the same as Tupac, bro. It's you crazy. Kill for being real, you know. It's crazy, but that's how I see it, you know. Like, you just if you, just be yourself, bro. Yeah. Focus on your own shit, that's and whoever is in your circle, you'll find out who's real, who's not. Hundred percent. You know, you'll find you, the snakes in the grass. You yep. end up sh- popping their heads up, you know, and you'd be like, I do remember you talking about that in one of your TikToks, maybe last week. Maybe I just seen it last week. It might have been older. Um, about like mates and stuff being around I copped it hard man I had like I had a pre-order before I even released a pre-order they're like next pre-order tell us we'll fucking pump it we'll support you all the rest of it I should have sold out in 30 seconds mm. I didn't even do a pre-order because I put the pre-order up it was like a week and a half or something I had it up yeah. I had two orders Yeah. and they, they were friends they were, they're the fucking OGs you know but I had to re. I just gave him a refund, man. I'm like, I can't do it. Like, I don't have the two don't grand to yeah. pull out of my pocket. Like, I could have. I definitely could have. But then that's. But it's a bigger risk. It just pulls out of other things that yeah. that are that are happening as well on the side. So, the way things have been going now, I've been putting a lot of my own money back into the business, which yeah. is the way it always goes. Yeah. But for a while, I was running off the sales. So yeah. the sales go, it's all that like profit goes back machine, into the business. Yeah, like a washing machine. Exactly. So then that's, that just starts to to and just self, uh, rotate yeah. on its own. But then it's kind of slowed down a bit and then a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some closer friends just didn't seem to show the support. They, they're there. They're like, hey, man, let us know when yeah. it's available let and we'll buy it off you. We'll, we'll like and I'm holding... 10 hats and beanies up I'm like boys they're available and like oh sorry bro I can't uh, I can't get it off you this time mm. that's a bit steep yeah but see this is the thing like I've had 7 business attempts and I'm talking about this new one Flossen yep. essentially our new one we've been up oh, we've been open for what 3 2 weeks yep 3 weeks 2 weeks 2 or 3 weeks and yep. I've got like 6 pieces of clothing left that's mad you know out of 150 pieces yep one person that I know personally that knows brought me. something off you one fucking person how crazy is that 
I knew that was going to happen. I was prepared for that to happen. Yep. I was like, all oh, these guys, yeah, they like... See, I copped that one on the chin me. for me. But that's how it is, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Because like, for some reason, and I, I shared this, I've seen this TikTok, I reacted to it actually. There's a lot of TikTok talk on here. Yeah. But that's where I get most of my, like, because I'm a yep. visual learner as well. And there was a chick on there that said, you know, the only reason that people that are your friends will you know never really support you as much as strangers because you come from the same position that they're at yep and now and you're, you're over here you're they're still going. over here yeah you know because they didn't want to do something with their life because they're, they're, they're busy focusing on oh, look at this guy that's right you know? they haven't look made this guy. the move that they yeah. want to make like it's all projection store, I didn't store bro I had no choice when I yep. got fired I was like fuck it I'm going for broke I put 20 grand you got no choice I put 20 grand into flossing yeah like I don't have a super anymore bro fuck I got nothing. You have a super? Like, no, super. Like, oh, super. Ah, oh, fro- yeah, okay, yeah. I gotcha. I thought yeah. you said super. I that was my that. only option. <laughs> yeah. You know? But, you know, a lot of that, like, half that money was on learning, mentoring. 100%. You know, gaining more value, buying books and shit. Yep. Like, just trying to level myself up. Yep. And then the rest of it was, you know, investing in business. 100%. Buying, products. Like, products, embroidery machine, all that. We'll get know? to that too, because I yeah. want to get one of those... I do want to get embroidered. Yeah. I've got a mate that's got some um, shirt presses oh, and a hat press and stuff. Yeah. They're really good too. They've got to, they'll take you a long way. I want to get uh, into embroidery and stuff though. Yeah. yeah. I love it. For some reason, like, you wouldn't think someone like that looks like me is like a little, yeah. <laughs> little <laughs> grandma at home. But, bro. Well, that's I'm what people obsessed. think. I'm obsessed with embroidery, man. I love it. I don't nice. know why. But yep. just, I don't know. I've seen some mad shit and I'm like, fuck, man. I want Where to you do can, that. You like, can do your design here. You can hit go and you can you watch, can it, watch happen. it happen that's right I think the only thing I hate is when you watch it happen and you just see the thread start fucking itself yeah. up and you're like fuck like you gotta start again <laughs> like another just wasted piece. a $20 fucking t-shirt yeah like, yeah. that's the part of the learning game like yeah I went through that when I was uh, starting the shirts when I was screen printing screen printing them myself I was just going to over in New Zealand it's um fuck I can't even remember what it's called now it's like Kmart it's just cheap not yeah. cheap stuff but it's just like a home normal store yeah that's yeah. right so but the plain shirts plain black or white shirts like four bucks five yeah. bucks so I'd go and buy like a hundred bucks worth of them yeah and just screen print a heap of them yeah and I'd, I was selling a bunch of them over there and then um, yeah it was just getting too much because I was driving a truck over there so doing 10-12 yeah. hours a day there and then up on the computer screen printing yeah. stuff I was making the screens exposing the screens like I was doing all of that in the tiny little single garage mm. sharing the office with the ex trying to get it all done yeah. after hours like it was just it's a lot of fucking work yeah but I just couldn't do it anymore so I ended up getting a screen printer and that was the first design that screen printer done yeah. for me shirts I, I got shirts singlets and long sleeves done yeah and that's the only one that I got left yeah. oh, sorry I got a white one and I had uh, <sighs> fuck what was it uh, stay fresh be humble Oh, yeah. And that PCL uh, 218 on it, or uh, uh, 217 on it, I think it was. Yeah. But the funny, ver- the funny, funniest fucking thing about that is I come over to Gold Coast for my cousin's wedding in, yeah. I think it was in 2017, maybe in 2016. Uh, it was Kendrick Lamar, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I that made the one. fucking shirt. I could show you right now. I've got the file, the yeah. date was a month before that fucking song come out and then everywhere I wear that shirt they're like oh yeah Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar you know it was just like, like the pop off man it, it, did, it didn't I sold all the shirts that I had but I'm like I, like every time someone's seen one they're like oh yeah nice original idea it's just I get that shit all the time it just turned into a fucking headache I was showing people I'm like man this is the file before that song was I even think, released I you know I think it's so funny you say that though like but I just got tired of trying to explain it to people yeah, I'm like it's just not even it worth it yeah like that is one of the biggest things that I deal with all the time so I call originality it's like yep. fuck yeah fuck yeah that's right oh it looks the same as old mate's brand well you know what I'm in my lane and you that's know right. what like I'm not going to throw any names out there but I had an argument with someone about a design that I brought out yeah right and like I only ever made one. It was like a sample design. And yep. he messaged me and he was saying like, oh, you know, you know, like your, this looks like mine. And this, and I'll, I'm looking at the two and like, mine is 
completely fucking different. Yep. And he was talking about, like, I had typography like that, sort of just like down, it said Hustle Ever Struggle. Yep. The, f- the first t-shirt that says Hustle Ever Struggle, it's got like that typewriter style writing. Yep. He was like, you know, my writing's the same. And I said, I sent him a voice message and I, I just, I sent him a couple actually. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of pissed off, but I'm kind of, I was kind of just trying to, Relax and just be like, like, look, this is this is the way it is. I, I'm not fucking looking at your brand. I don't really don't give a fuck. I'm That's in right. the diff- I'm in the league on my own, bro. Yep. I'm doing my own thing. Hundred percent. I'm, you know, like, what the fuck? Like, it just threw me off, and I was just like, you're just gonna jump on the the hate train because you see, you know, these other people are arguing with me about the same shit. Yeah. Because people at skate park want to talk shit. Yeah. Get fucked, you know. That's right. And I had this thing with him. I didn't. We weren't rude to each other, but I just said like. You do understand that typography that you use in your t-shirts is universal. Yeah, is that you right? Know, like it's you can it's jump not like on you any own the patent to that. That's right. You didn't create it. Like, you know, yes, it may look the same, but why would I want to rip? I don't even like your brand. Yeah, that's right. Why are you going to try and own anything <laughs> of your brand? Like, why would I fucking want to rip you? Yep. And then you know, I had another little argument with someone else. You know, about a couple of products that I brought out and just all this shit happened with Doom and I was like, fuck it. Like, fuck it. Fingers yeah. up to that thing. I'm, I'm going to yeah. start fresh. And I'm, I'm, I went around to everyone that I had it that has seemed to have a problem with me and told them what I was going through at the time. Like, yep. the good up to eggs and all that shit. And, you know, sorted it out one by one. I was like, if I have to, fucking do this. That's what it's going to be. And it felt like I had to close down the company to save not only myself, but my maybe in brackets reputation because yep. I am a really good person but I'm also very I'll tell someone the truth even if it hurts yeah, feelings because I'd rather them cry for 10 minutes than, right. than two years down the track be like a year of fucking dog yeah still hanging on yeah that's right or hanging on to like fake shit like yep. I don't like sugarcoating things for people you know yep. like and I would never expect someone to do to the same anything for me if they that's don't right. like it you know yep. and that's the only thing is just fucking stay real yeah you know and just I, do your thing yeah and when I started this brand I said to um, I said to Dino he's the one on the team I said no matter what happens like no matter I'm not I'm not I'm not even gonna put my energy like if anyone any brand owner or anything has a problem with anything I bring out or whatever understandable yep. but unless they're gonna fucking take me to court I don't wanna That's put right. energy into it at all I'm not even gonna look twice yep. won't even reply and I haven't actually had a problem since so I've been pretty Man. lucky but I mean like it's all mindset too. it's mindset and I think the boys understood that I wasn't trying to like dig into their fucking brand or like yep. take away their customers like my and this is what I said to the other dude that I sort of had the argument with about the t-shirt I was like my customers are my customers like it's right they're buying my product. They're my customers. Your customers, your customers. They're buying your product. And then old mate's customers are buying his fucking product. That's like, exactly right. There's 800 fucking billion people in the world and <laughs> you're an online business yeah, in yeah. e-commerce. Like, do you understand the platform right. that you have? That's right. You know, we're not just dealing with 30 people at a local skate park anymore. Yep. Once you jump online and you're you're fully into it. It's a whole other ball It's game. a fucking, like, oh, I've got people in America wearing that shit. Mad. And I'm like, that's fucking Mad. sick, you know? Like, that's so crazy. But the fucked up part is, though they can't any other brand like how can you control whether yeah a, a fucking customer not even a customer family person yeah. shopper like someone looking for a present for someone like yeah how can you control who they would want to buy something off you yeah, know exactly. they see one video of you video of you on tiktok just being yourself and they're like i oh, fuck with this guy i oh, fuck with that guy and that's it that's all it is but then people get butt hurt. Mm. Oh, you're taking my customers. It's just, just like I mean, it's like what the fuck. I'm like, just I'm being, to here do the being same myself, thing doing, but just my way. You know. That's like, right. But that's why I said to Dean, I was like, I'm staying in my own. I'm in the league, like over there. You're doing your own. I'm team. doing my own shit. Yeah. You know, whether they want to say that, oh, you know, he's ten steps ahead or he's ten steps. I don't give a fuck. That's right. Like I'm doing what I love to do. That's what right. I love to do is help people out, mm-hmm. create a community. And do mad shit, bro. You know, create fucking up. limited edition designs. Fuck and, yeah. You know, they might be worth more money later on if this yep. brand blows up. That's it. You know, at the end of the day, Supreme. I just, Supreme who? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, and <laughs> I've, said that, I've said that. I fucking was like, you know, I'm heavily infatuated by Supreme. The mm-hmm. way they did it. The way they come up like that. Fucking A. You know? You know, there's a lot of people like that wear Diamonds and Plaka or Supreme or DGK that don't skate. You yep. know, and everyone was like, oh, can I like buy your brand if I don't scale fuck yeah bro you, we you just floss buy whatever you want yeah that's right you know? you're just out there doing your yeah. thing we just we just out here flossing bro yep. you know like, that's mad floss your shit fucking A rep yourself you know like and I think that the whole thing about you know flossing like it makes you feel good fuck yeah and like you don't get that I didn't get that in Doomed 
Yeah. You know, Doom block. What the fuck. <laughs> I, you know, like it was just a, such a like a weird time. Like yep. I can't really explain it. You said it was just such just... a negative, half-assed fucking attempt at yep. like thinking I'm gonna be someone great when I'm not even putting in yep. half the effort. Now I'm 100%. going tenfold. You know, like I'm going ten times That's as right. hard. And you know, I was in the same boat when I started this. Hey, like mm. first podcast I done, I was just like after I'd done it well the second one actually the first one was just myself trying to fucking hype myself up to talk to someone (laughs) and then the second one it was just like after I'd done it and watched it back it was just like what am I fucking like what am I doing you know what I mean like who's gonna watch me who's gonna watch this yeah like who's gonna get any value Mm. from this like, you know what, what I mean to the table well just and, thinking that yeah. I've got nothing to offer offer yeah. you know but then but now looking back and looking forward it's just like I got yeah. fucking everything in the world you know what I mean yeah. all um, I gotta do is just put the shit out there yeah so that's why again it's just if it doesn't feel right I don't do it yeah. that's why I kind of cooled off for a little bit but now yeah. we're back moving into 2021 this yeah is, Big things happening next year, and I got a, I got a bunch of people that are keen to get some stuff done, and uh, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be fucking mad. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. It's all a bit quiet at the moment, but yeah. it's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking mental. That's why I thought if I can speak to you now, yeah, but I'm gonna drop this New Year's Day. Yeah, fuck yeah. So first of the year. Yeah. First of the first. That's yeah right. Let's go. Yeah, 2021. Okay, I'm keen for that. 2021, let's go. So it's not long to edit. Thing. So I'll be editing tonight and yeah. then fucking tomorrow and... Yeah, sweet. Hopefully get it on YouTube at a decent hour tomorrow. Yeah. So I don't have to sit here till 11 o'clock fucking <laughs> New Year's Eve waiting to hit fucking enter. Yeah. I can upload it and just set it, put it on the premiere and, and then it can yeah, do its yeah. thing. Um, and then hopefully the quicker I get it done, I can chop some stuff up, send yeah. it off to you and... Yeah, tagging right. a bunch of stuff to try and promo right. it up so 100% um, and that's what I mean like networking 100%. Is, is a really powerful tool 100% yeah. so the one thing that I lacked I guess in the last year I was too busy focusing on myself just trying to work I went through I didn't lose my job so I don't want to mm. say that to the people that did lose their jobs I'm not, I'm not yeah. trying to step on any toes there but yeah. I left one job because it was just a fucking headache I was getting yeah. paid what I was worth all the rest of it Ended up having four other jobs between in the space of a month, uh, in the space of six weeks, I had yeah, four jobs. Fuck. So, and then this one come along now, and it's fucking probably the best job I've ever had driving a truck. Like it's just steady cruising. Crew. Well, it's it's still work. Still to drive yeah. for thirteen hours. Like imagine driving to Queensland every day. Like it's don't even know. Uh, yeah. They so used to it's only mar- uh, I say only. It's easy for me, but to someone else, they fucking probably hate it to yeah. drive to Maroola. So I just yeah, drive to Maroola and twice a day. Just to own land out there, yeah. I drive down there twice a day, and yeah. that's it. Back up here, tip off, back down there. So it's thirteen hours a day. That's the one thing I hated about our like concreting because like we do a lot of highway traveling haven. everywhere. You know, one like there there was a time it only really happened a few times, but like sometimes they'd ring you up and be like, Central Coast tomorrow. Yeah, right. Got a job there. So it's a fucking two and a half hour trip. Yeah. And then you go from the Central Coast, you come home and they'd be like, all right, we're going down to fucking Hay Plains or something. Fucking hell. You know, it's a 10 hour drive in a truck. And you're finding out and like you're finding the night out, before you know, or something like that. Well, lunchtime not the night before, before, but you know, like two, three days before and you're thinking to yourself, fuck. You it's know, like, non-stop. You know? You're fucking all over the place. you fucking fried the whole yep. time. And yep. if it was night shift, you'd be even more fucked fuck because like, to be honest with you, last year was a lot of night. Like, I worked on the M5 West Connects in Ironcliffe. Yeah, right. All the way through to, Saint, yeah. like, sort of St. Peter's. Peter's like, flat out. It was just the f- that time, to me, that whole time frame, like, I had a girlfriend at the time that I b- broke up with her at some point. <laughs> just I a blurb. Fucking, it was one big fucking day to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, last year was just one big fucking day. Yeah. You know, like, I don't remember anything significant happening apart from me starting to skate. That's yep. where the Doom Skateboard things came in. Yep. And, like, because I hadn't skated in 10 years. Yeah, right. I was sponsored for scooters when I was younger. Fuck yeah. By hanging in cycles, yeah. Had. And grew up with a lot of the, like, big dudes in the scene, like Warwick Bainan and yep. Cody Donovan and Chris Hart, Rorica. Uh, funny uh, story, used to ride push bikes back in the day with Cody. Yeah, at, at Jemo Skate Park. Evan Danes. Uh, Do you remember Evan? He's a tattoo artist now. Yeah, right. Wicked Ink and Danger. I don't know if you know Danger. I don't know Danger's first. I've never known Danger's first name, but the BMX boys are known. Yeah, that's what I used to ride. Yeah. I used to ride BMX. Used to go up the mountains. 
yeah. trails, like Royce King. skate park. You remember Royce King? No. I think he rode like BMX a little bit back in the day, but he was like more into scooters. How long ago is this? Because I'm talking like 15 years ago. Yeah, I'm talking like 10, 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 16, 17, 18. So it's 15 years ago. I'm 31. So yeah, 15 so, years ago. Yeah, it's probably back a in the high before, school days. A bit before the scooter thing happened. Yeah, yeah. right. Because Cody used to oh, ride yeah. everything. Yeah, he was skateboard, just like scooter, skates. skates, bike. Yeah, throw him on something with wheels, man, and, and he'd just fucking go for it. Yeah, Cody he's still like that now. He's like, "Oh, Josh, give Scott your skateboard." I'm like, "Yeah, let's fucking ride your scooter, bro." Yeah. Ride a scooter and like, you know, this. I uh, I follow uh, Ozza on Instagram. Yeah, talk to him a couple of times on Instagram, but I see Cody in his stories every now and then. And I'm just like, "Fuck, I remember this guy." Like, yeah, man, like I got fucking love, man, a month Cody, ago. Man. Yeah, it's crazy. I got major love for Cody, especially was a man like yep. Warwick Bainan. I was his fucking number one fan, but I'm not even yeah, fucking, right. like I'm not even scared to say. He's in that case on scooter, eh? He's just <laughs> fucking mental. Not only on the scooters, but like his mentality. Yeah, you know, like because I know him on a really personal level. Like we're really good nice. mates. Like we grew up in the same area. Yep. He's from Warwick Amber. He yep. lives in Queensland now. Yeah, but, he moved um, up there a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and my it's like all my friends are leaving me. He moved to Queensland. My mate Sean Enoch yeah. moved to. California, I think oh. Southern California. Yeah, right. Like, ah, oh, that's a know. move. I know. I was supposed to go to Arizona. At the start of the year. I was dating someone from Arizona. And I was going to move there, and then we we're going to move back, and all this other fucking shit happened. But, and then anyway, yeah, like, um, dodge was bullet or bad, oh, just bad news, dodge bullet, just bad stuff. No offense, but you're fucking. If you're watching this, you're crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> she said, she, you know, I've dated some some, some, some not crazies. nice people. Yeah. yeah. I'll keep it at that. Yeah. But, but yeah, in regards to like my friendship with Ozzo, man, like he was just, he's very prolific. Yeah. Like at the same time, I think I get that sort of essence as well. Nice. Like, but you know, I remember look, always, you know, looking up to Ozzo and when I was a young kid and shit. And um, he was always very supportive. Yeah. You know, it didn't matter what you wanted to do with your life, but he always tried to steer in the right direction. Yeah. Give you that and, little bit of yeah. advice or that little yeah. that little kick 100% and like being from a small town there's not much shit you can really do it's either you <laughs> back then it was either you get pissed every day yeah. or every weekend and yeah. smoke weed and this yeah. and that which on I the, dabbled in bombs. sometimes yeah I've done that for a while but yeah. like it just wasn't my scene like I was the weed kid in the group you yep. know, and just I was you know I ended up growing out of that I don't talk to anyone from my area apart from yeah. my mate Dale yeah, right. which was the oh and one of my friends Eden but very that's pretty similar. much it, you know. Like the rest very of them, similar story. The rest of them I don't speak to. Fuck and you know. they don't see me. I don't see them. We don't bother each other. Yep. It's fine. I only started mm-hmm. following was uh, I think last winter because mm. we got into snowboard and yeah, he loves it. two years ago. Well, that's where just from being on the perisher hashtags and all that on mm. Instagram, just trying to suss people out because I was down yeah. there with beanies and hoodies, just yeah. trying to sell them, which I did actually sold a fair few down that's there. It was pretty good. Um, but then had people going, you're not a snowboard brand. It's just like, it's a hoodie. Like, it's yeah, not fuck, It's not yeah. a fucking snow jacket. Like, mean, settle like, down, you know. But this is what I was saying about branding as well. Yeah. Like, you know, when people are like, oh. Like, no one's going to walk up to a hype beast wearing Supreme and be like, you're not a fucking skater. Yeah, that's right. You can't wear that. Yeah. Like, people are... What's about matter? Who they are. I was wearing Diamond Supply Co. before I even knew what Diamond Supply Co. was when I was a kid. Yeah. You know? And now I'm like heavily infatuated by Nicky Diamonds and yep. like what he's created and design yep. and like culture and like, you know, trying to being well, yourself. You are creating it for yourself. Yeah, like your version. Yeah, my version. And, yep. you know, I'll still put anybody on as yep. well. Like, I see something that catches my eye and it might be a small brand. Like, I put, yeah. I, you know, um, I like duetted some guy's brand that he does no restock as well. And, Mad. you know, he's got a smaller following, but like, He's doing really well, and I'm yep. like, that's fucking sick. Like, I just love to see people win. If, yep. they, if they want it, you know, I'm 100%. happy to support that. 100%. Like, Fuck yeah. I think some people just get a bit like, oh, this guy's doing better than me. Like, yeah. well, from what? From their perspective. Yes. Like, that's right. oh, this guy's doing better than me when they don't know what I'm actually going through to get the result. They haven't like, taken the, the sixth step on, yeah. on your journey, let alone the first. Like, yeah. they got no idea what, yeah. what the process is. Yeah. And I yeah. think. The, the one thing I will say, like, if you can get anything out of all the mixture of shit I say on this podcast, <laughs> is that don't compare your level one to someone's level 10. That's right. You know, like, everyone's at different stages. Yeah. It might, like, it's taken me three and a half years to see any sort of result yep. at all. And it's taken me, you know, like, if I could round it off, I'd say close to $60,000. 
fuck like in just fucking random business attempts like yep. you know clothing or drop shipping or Facebook ads or yep. whatever the fuck it was like that's what it took me you know fucking simple as that like costs money yeah it costs you, you have to pay the price now that's right you know Grant Cardone says I pay the price now that's right so you can have it later 100% you know yep. and for me it's not about being a millionaire that'd be amazing you know yeah. but the down the, day, the track one day if that's the out, if that's the outcome, that's if, the outcome. If that, if that's what's meant for me, that's what's going to happen. When God's timing is right, bro, I, yep. I really believe that. When, like, timing, I think bro. the universe, whatever you want, I'll, I'll say the universe for you guys, so you don't yeah. like, preach about. Oh, he's a God <laughs> believer. But you know, I think that when the universe understands that you are ready, yep. is when you receive that. Hundred percent. Like a lot of people talk about manifestation, yeah, you know, and then they fucking do nothing about it. That's like, right. You can manifest it, yeah. But you have to work towards it as well. That's right. Like, but you have to be conscious to recognize it when it's put in front of yes, you. Yes, exactly. Because sometimes it can exactly. go like that and, and you like, just go, that's not it. That's and not it. You just don't recognize like, it. And that's what I said to a lot of young entrepreneurs. Like, whatever you want to do, whether it's podcasting like this mm-hmm. or vlogs or fucking a brand, like, nothing is oversaturated. That's right. And you need to dip your feet in every area. 100%. Because, like, there's a lot of mentors even in, like, um, my my like a lot of students in my mentors class that are mm-hmm. doing like say drop shipping or they're doing like a a business model that they're so to speak not passionate about yep. and you can hear it on the phone call because like yeah. sometimes I might help them simply because of the fact I know how to get really good organic reach but yep. on TikTok and stuff but the only way I know how to do that is being authentic that's you know? right like the more authentic you are the more people are going to relate so I just that's be right. myself you know well the more the more people can relate the more people can relate that's, that's right. right like as long as you broadcast and practice what you fucking preach yes. like and you you stay humble like I'm humble as fuck yep. I'll help anyone I'll help any brand and I'll help anyone if I can. That's right. You know, if I've got the the tools to do so, I'll do it. Like, yep. shirt off me back for anyone because I know what it's like to have nothing. Yes. And fucking not like, a great place. Yeah, it's not. You know, like, my family, we're by no means rich at all. My dad has worked his guts out all of his life. He's 52, yep. still out there today, you know, while That's I'm crazy. sitting here doing this podcast. I know he's out there slogging his guts. That's crazy. And, it, and it's like, it fucking feels me to just want to go 10 times harder to like bring him yep. home because he just he gave me this opportunity yep you know and he's like dad my grandfather gave me this opportunity you get a chance to do it yeah and I it's remember coming. before I remember before my my grandfather passed away <laughs> he said and he was pretty much on his deathbed at the time and he said to me in person he said he was holding my hands at the time and he said make sure no matter what you f- follow your heart yep and you take courage fuck yeah and that's something my dad reminds me about at the time. He's like, remember, because I wear my grandfather's cross every day. Yep. That's what dad gave me when he passed away. He, My grandfather wear it every day. He's like, remember, forge on and yep. take courage. That's Bad. it. You know, and don't worry about anyone else. That's right. And that goes for everyone too. Like if you've got a dream, an idea, a mm-hmm. vision, a million dollar idea, don't let someone with a $40,000 fucking salary talk you out of that. Fucking A. You know, like. That was my, the biggest problem I had with trying to not even just start the brand just trying to do anything in life even when I brought the van yeah like I was looking at patrols land cruisers yeah. all the bullshit and then come across those vans it's just like fuck that's yeah cool. that's like, mad that's and different. people are like cool. why the fuck do you want a van for it's yeah. like why the fuck do I want to patrol like hundred other thousand other people in the country yeah like why can't I do my own thing yeah. oh they're fucking pieces of shit yeah I've never got bogged in that thing and I go yeah. everywhere all these and that, I'd fucking, rather have something sick like that that's gangster bro to me that's where we pull like, up anywhere we want in a car park you can't see in so you don't know there's a bed in there there's yeah. a double mattress in the back we yeah. don't even have to get out of the car just climb between yeah. the seats in a bed straight away bro got the awning on there and all the drawers and all the bullshit so yeah. we can go in there. got a water tank in there with a pump yeah. so I can have showers that's that's, that's what you need but you know but when I got that car to what it is now it's taken a lot of fucking work yeah but before I even got it I was like, I'm going to get one of these vans. It's going to have a bed in it. It's going to have drawers in it. We're going to have it set up like this. Law of attraction, man. Man, I'm <laughs> telling you, uh, one of my wife's friends actually, we were out just having, I think we were having dinner or having coffee at Starbucks or something one night. Yeah. And they're all, they're like, oh, show us the van. We haven't seen it for a while. Yeah. And it was uh, him, Josh, if you're watching this, Josh, you're a fucking legend. He was walking around and he goes, I can't believe it. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, you done it. Because I remember like said it and you meant it. It's like I remember like eight months ago you were saying that you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. He goes And then now it's here. It's there. And I think on that note about like saying something to people and then doing it and like but when it's for yourself. Yes. 
they will never believe you when you no. say it. A lot of my like a lot of my friends, and this is no diss to anyone. Like this whole podcast, everything I'm saying in this, this thing, is your it's just fucking experience, me. your point it's of my view. Experience. But I've had people that are so to speak not in my life anymore. Yeah, I would say who doubted the fuck out of me, and they're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, you know. And now they see me now, and they're, they're like, like, whatever. Fuck, man, he actually did that. That's right. And it's like they can't handle that fact. Like, yeah, I fucking did that. I would have done that for you. Yeah, that's right. I would have supported you. Would have helped you. Would have helped you. That's like, right. And that that's part of my downfall, but yeah, you know, because I'm so that person that, that side comes not, out. <laughs> I just can't help but see people go without. Like, I had a hate it. You know, hate yep. seeing people a struggle. Struggle. That's because right. Because I know how that feels every day. Like that's yep. how I used to live every day. Even when I was working twelve hours a day, I was just putting my money in the wrong places. Though. Yep. But I know what it is to struggle. Fucking. My dad does as well. So like, I hate it when I see people struggle. But it's people are always going to hate your success because they haven't right. had a taste of that yet. What's the worst? Well, I can't say the worst. I don't like the worst. No. But the the downside of that is people, anyone, can do what they want. Yeah. They can get out of it. And like you are saying before, they throw shade your way because now you're on the way up and, and you're doing you what you said word. you would. That's right. You're doing what you said you would and you're going the direction you wanted to go. But they can't because their fears are holding them back. I mean. it's, and it's, then they project that onto you. They're like, like when yeah. you're talking about with your spaces before, they're like, why the fuck would you have spaces? Well, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, just because you wouldn't have them in yeah. your ears, like, doesn't like, mean. Does this de- really define who I am? Exactly. That's like when people are like, oh, you're not fucking part of New Zealand. It's like, uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Like, but <laughs> I don't have to. You know, yep. oh, you're not a fucking Italian. You're yep. like, yeah, I am. Yeah, like, I'm, right. I'm by, I'm like the least Aussie. Yeah. And like, you know what I mean? But, you know, people, that's what I mean. There's so many different opinions. Yep. Like, and especially online, like even your best of friends or what you might think your best of friends yep. will fucking throw shade because they think it won't come back to them. That's right. You know, because online is really easy. But when I confront these people face to face, they shake my <laughs> they head. They got nothing, I shake their nothing head but nice things to say. And we give each other respect, yeah? Yep. But over the internet, they want to fucking throw shade. And it's like, okay, do that to me in person. Let's have a conversation they won't do it. in person. No, I can't do that. They won't do it. You know, and, and as soon as you like, bring it up, it's just like, oh, well, yeah, it's, just oh, like, no, it's not like I that. I can't remember that, right? Are you yeah. sure about that? Oh, yeah, cool, because I've fucking got it in the message. Like, fuck you, you know? But it's the worst. That's, that's the, the worst. one thing I hate. Like, if you don't like me, cool. Yeah. But... When you don't have, you, to, you you don't have to make me, it something. Yeah, when you see me, just... It's all right, you know? Like, right. just relax your fucking breath. Yeah, you know? fuck like, it, I love that too. Yeah. Man. Everyone, that's that right. was a... I've got to give that to Dino. That's his thing. Yeah. But I just took it over. Yeah. It's like, run with it, bro. <laughs> and then I just... Everyone loves it, eh? Everybody fucking loves it. I've got a t-shirt with it coming out. Yep. Yeah. Mad. Like, Mad. Relax your fucking breath. That's Tell the them best. haters, man. Relax your breath. Yeah. But yeah, that's exactly where they where came from. It's yeah. mad. All right, let's um, go sidetrack. Cars. Mm. My favorite. My favorite, man. It's Cars. your. Okay, so you got the Lancer now. Yeah, I got the Lancer. Are you doing the sticker bombs on? Yeah, the shit box. That's yeah. mad. I have to give you. I got a bunch of stickers too. Yeah, hard. I'll give you a bunch of stickers. Stick They're old. I haven't got nothing made since oh, I got matter, that, that logo oh, made. That's cool. I'll stick them on, bro. They, they all fade because, like, even though I've got the clear coat and stuff. Sidetrack. That's what we are talking about before. That started on Adobe Illustrator. Yeah. And then I printed it out, cut it out. Yeah. And I used safety pins to put it on oh, Beanie yeah, to just so I could what it visualize it and like, see yeah. what it would look like. I do that stuff a lot. And then that was the finished product. Yeah, right. And I got 100 of these. And then I'm like, all right, now what am I going to do with them? Are they are they so on? PVC. They? Yeah, right. Rubber PVC, and they're stitched on. Yeah, stitch on, yeah. And they're stitched on. Yeah, my friend... Um, That's friend. the whole reason of the square outline was to leave a recess so they could get the so stitch in So they could in get it. the stitch in, kind of like the, the stitch they put in shoes, eh? Yep. Yeah. But the guy who does uh, 33 print, shout out 33 print, fucking legends, um, they got their... They got it all sorted for me and they weren't sure they could do it just because of how thick it oh, is and yes. actually having it in the machine yeah. and being able to, to get, cut it get around yeah. the corners which they ended up smashing it it's um yeah it came no, out way better than I thought it was gonna that's awesome dude but even yeah, that looks sick though but I released that right sorry we got off the topic of cars no we'll go back to topic cars, of cars right. but I released that right talking about what we were saying before about 
people getting upset with you stealing designs and stuff. Yeah. I put this in my story, just that. That's what exactly that. how it happened to me. I was too. like, this yeah. is, and my wife still blows me up now. She's like, don't put it in your fucking story. Put it as a post so it stays there. So when someone wants to get on their horse, you can be like, ah, uh-uh, hold on a second. Yeah, I got, I got it here, you know. But uh, yeah, I put that up in my story, saying new design, working on all the rest of it. And then it, exactly this was like saying that. Yeah, this Absolutely. was like probably seven or eight months yeah. from when I done that design to actually having the finished, the finished product. product yeah it could have happened so much sooner but i was just in my own head yeah, I just, it just doesn't look right i'll change this i'll change that and then i ended up going back to like the first one i'd done anyway because it was yeah it didn't need to be changed yeah right. it was good the way it was but then another actually bigger company i won't yeah i won't say who they are i put them up in sitting in the cardboard box just got them in fucking mad all the rest of it got a message straight like within 30 minutes of having it online mm. it's like oh that's a funny looking logo because they just dropped their hats and beanies like a week prior it's like that's a funny looking logo and I was just like funny I was about to message you a week ago too but I thought I'd keep my mouth shut and I sent him the story from like yeah. fucking six months earlier this is the same fucking and it was just like oh there. yeah maybe that's where I got the inspiration from it's just like yeah thanks like and this thanks is bro the fucking biggest problem I had because I'd had this argument about that fucking t-shirt. Like, if I was yep. to show you that, I'll show you the two t-shirts off camera. Yeah. You put those two t-shirts they're next to it. They're fucking. There's no even. You, yep. The only thing you can compare is that universal fucking typewriter typography. Yep. And there is like, you know, his was on like the top of his shirt or some shit. I don't even know because I don't even look at his product. Mine's like <laughs> down here as a label. Mm-hmm. Like, no, not even the same colour Completely way. different. You know, and I was just like, oh, get fucked. Like, yep. and I had this problem so many times with Doom, like, and then I dropped a women's collection and one of my friends was like, oh, fuck, I'm not going to drop my women's collection now. And I said, why? And he's like, because you just dropped yours. And I'm like... So? Like, bro, that shouldn't matter. That's right. Like, why does it feel like I'm being attacked from all sides all by, angles, yeah. like, everyone and it's not <laughs> even their fault, you know? Like, yep. and I was just, like, pulling my fucking hair out at this point. Wow. And I just pulled the pin. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Fucking flush that shit down the toilet. That's it. Like, I spent a lot of money on Dune, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to save my friendship with these people. Yep. Whoever is my friends, like, they know who they are. But... But that's the learning curve. But that was my learning curve, you know? Yep. Being humble and being frugal and buying a five hundred dollar shitbox car was my learning curve, bro. Yep. You know, you know, selling my fucking I sold like five thousand dollars worth of Nikes that I'd saved up years for. I that was my learning curve, that's bro. Mental. You know, sold my favorite Jordan cards. Yeah. And rookie cards and shit. You know, in baseball, like basketball. Yeah. That was my learning curve. You know, like I'll do anything for my friends. That's my problem. Yeah. But like I, I did make a note that I said. If anything ever happens, like within Flossen, now, I will cut it off. Yeah. Like, because I won't have that energy. You don't want to be a part of that. I won't have that energy. You don't want that vibe. You know, that that includes the people on the team, Mm -hmm. how they treat each other, how they treat other people. I don't care about how pro skater they are. Yep. Like, none of us are pro skaters, right? Yep. But it doesn't, to me... Like, yeah, they're great skaters. Like, they're heaps better than me. I've been off injured pretty much all year. Fuck. My skating's pretty shit. Like, I've rolled my ankle four times this year. Cool. So, like, my, my skating's cooked. Yeah. And coming back after 10 years is just a fucking battle in itself. Yeah. I, I wish I never... Everybody says, I wish I never stopped. Stop, yeah. But that's also... At least like, just skate around to keep but yeah, the bones and the muscles like in, good. You know, kick flip and shit. Like, yeah. I'll pick it up. I'm never going to be a pro skater, but I own a fucking skate brand. So. I can do mad manuals. I can do mad manuals. Right? Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> but that goes for everybody. Yep. That goes for myself. Yep. I only put out what I want. Like, I and I used to be a prick. Like, when I owned Doomed, I thought I had some sort of reputation to uphold. Yeah. I dropped the ego with Doom. When Doom died, so did the ego. Yeah. So did the, and the humbleness and the actual person that I'm meant to be yep. comes out. Because, like, I was, you know, hindered a lot when I was younger, especially by people I was hanging around, for being that kind person, for being a caring person. Yep. And now, you know, some people get me backwards because they're like, you know, he wasn't like that fucking like 10 years ago. Yeah, that's yeah, it was right. was fucking 10 years ago, wasn't it? Like, yeah. It's different. So, you know. It's funny how people grow up and they think you, you can't be someone else. Mm. So you can be someone else tomorrow if yeah. you fucking want to be. Yeah. It, was, as long as you make that choice. you got to make a choice. I think you've got to make a choice. Uh, conscious choice to mm-hmm. be a good person. Like, it's okay to be a good person. That's right. Like, it's, there's no right or wrong as long as you're doing it out of the purity of your heart 100%. and the kindness of your heart yep. 
you won't you can't go wrong that's right you know like and people are like oh, i need a bit yeah you just be yourself you know? that's right that's it be yourself and that's it that's yeah. all everything you ever want everything you ever want to achieve yes. will come from just being yourself yes exactly right and this is like it comes down to being determined yep but doing it out of the willing like the good willingness of your heart yep. like people are like why well, you want to be a millionaire well, for, for number one, I want to retire my family. That's right. I never want to have to worry about... Like, I used to have to scrape up change to buy a coffee, bro. You don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's right. And if I... Like, I want to build schools and... Like, this is in the long run, but I want to build schools and skate parks in, you know, remote areas Mad. for kids. Help people. You know, to teach people. And give back to the community. Yeah. Because if I'm a broke motherfucker, how can I do that? any of that? That's how right. can any of that kind of life? You know, I think a lot of people that are rich get shunned upon. Oh, fuck him, he's rich. Yep. Like, bro, I look up to them people because I'm like, now I know how hard it is to make money fuck on yeah, own, it is. Because a nine to five, you can only make this much, bro. That's right. You be your own boss, it's limitless. But, you know, you know, it's kind of like the Spider-Man with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, it's true. You know, fuck when yeah, you get into a to you know like business and things like that you will make a lot of money if you do the right things and you put the money in the right places I don't I don't even pay myself bro yeah like I bought a record today yeah you know yeah that's it it. you know like that's I don't buy myself anything like I buy the boys the skate their skate stuff yeah because I hook them up with decks and wheels when I can but I was hooking them up off a Centrelink check bro yeah you know like you know we were down bad but I was like you know what Stay okay. real, stay frugal. I'm not changing. Like, I'm not. I'm not even. You know. I don't wear jewelry now. Yep. Probably wouldn't wear jewelry if I was a millionaire. Yeah. You know. I'm happy. And I'm to telling you, you could, you could walk past ten people in Penrith that have more money in their bank account than what they know, know what to do with. Yeah. And you don't even know. No. That's, and they, that's and that's people are laughing at them, going, "Look at this guy. Look at the way this guy's dressed." And it's just like, man, that guy's he's going home. Yeah. To his house on fucking River Road or something. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. I'll build a houses but, up there, but, yeah. you know, Rich, I'll, I'll say this, and, and it might not make sense. It might make sense to some, but maybe not to others. Riches speak, wealth whispers. Yes. There's a big difference between 100%. riches and wealth. Like, yeah. you can be rich, but if if you don't know what to do with that money, you're still broke in a mind. Yes. Like, you know, but I still live like I'm broke, but hustle. Yep. I hustle like I'm broke, so I don't lose that essence. I don't get complacent. Yeah. Like, yeah. I made a lot of lot of good sales money revenue mm-hmm. you know the first day but I've also reinvested that straight back into the business I was like I'm going tenfold now because I've got the the power to do so yep. bang I'll do it on the re-up get it going you know? 100% I'm not paying myself till I make like you know six figures or something then I'll pay myself a normal week wage that's right or just pay my bills or some shit but, but even then by the time that point rolls around you're not even going to use it anyway no exactly you, you know, because you're so accustomed to that back to the business as you're so accustomed to that business mindset of growing the business yeah reinvesting getting it going yeah and so that's you're what not, I mean like even if you paid yourself say 50 grand a year like mm. you're not going to use that 50 grand no nah, you're not going to use it not. anyway you're, you're probably not. only going to end up buying honest, stuff for the business to help it out anyway and to be honest bro the way things are going I haven't even really started and I already don't have time to go out and spend money and shit 100% like and I'm real frugal the only thing I'm a sucker for is skate shoes bro yep but I don't even like there's I know there's skate shoes up and coming yep. I've sold other shit like like collections and stuff yep. I don't, I'm not a drug dealer at all <laughs> I've never sold drugs in my life <laughs> but I've sold like shit that I used to own and stuff yep. like to put money aside for those little things because Man. If, if I can't write it on tax, I don't want to buy it. Yeah, that's right. Like, I'm such a well, tight way it gets bro. to it, like, yeah. 100%. You know the best feeling, though, this year, man? Like, to be honest, like, I got to buy my parents a present, bro, for Christmas. That's mad. Fuck yeah. That's an achievement for me. Yeah. It shouldn't have been, but it is. It's an achievement for you, bro. You know, bro? Like, that's it. fuck, bro. Buying me mum a gift, bro. Yeah. You know, like, that was hectic. It's an achievement for you. Yeah. Yeah. Like... I did that you know like it's yep. just the little things in my life that make so much of a difference to me but it's not it's not the you've gone and worked for someone else mm. it's yeah. I did that myself bro the life you're making yeah exactly because that, that small gift give it five years ten years yeah, what's it. like what's that going to yeah. turn into yeah you know and I think that's the biggest thing a lot of young people like if you've got a goal or a dream fuck just bro just stick it out eh yeah if it's your passion, man. a lot of people stop. A lot of people get. So yeah, the first couple stop. of times I was in business and doing different things, you get to the first, like, what do you go? Three, four, five months. You're like, fuck yeah, this is mad. We sold a couple of things. Sick. Starting to go it's mad. And then, you, a, and then you hit a roadblock, and you're like, fuck, this is business is hard. Like yeah. now I've got to actually 
try and reach <laughs> out. Now I've got to now got to put in the work. Yeah, and that's where a lot of people just fall over. It gets too hard. Yeah. Like, like like I've got bills to pay. I've got a, yeah, I've got rent. I've got fucking all this yeah. other shit. It gets yeah. it gets full on pretty quick. And that used to be my downfall, bro. Now, especially like running doomed. Even before Doom Skateboards, when it was still Doom Apparel, I was like, oh, I didn't make any fucking sales today. Yeah. Fuck, no money coming in. Yeah. Now, you know, like, fast forward to Floss and Supply, I can go a week without sales, I couldn't give a fuck. Yeah. Because I'm still creating content for these people. That's right. I'm doing hustle behind the scenes. Yeah. The money will come on its own. 100%. Like, if you focus on the money it's going to run from you that's right if you just focus on what you're trying to achieve yep. and it's for the greater good whether that's it's right. for the greater good it's God it's you know God's plan for you or yep. the universe's plan just do 100%. that and you'll, you'll always have a righteous life yep you know and we're talking about uh, timing and stuff before as yeah. well there's been a few times some of the plans that I mean the wife have made it's just like oh this is like it's a lot of fucking work even stuff with the business it's like it's a lot of fucking work like you put in that work and then you're at that right place at that right time yeah. you see someone you haven't seen for 10 years and mm. then you have just just hey how are you man oh, I'll send you a message like good to see you bro and then it's like bang that's like it's another opportunity yeah. and another opportunity and then it's like a week or two later you look back and you're like fuck you're like it was like perfect yeah like if if we didn't go here at this time we wouldn't have yeah. seen them at that like 100%. it's just a it's just a knock-on effect, and, but that yeah. seems to happen more often than not these days, and which is a good sign. Yeah, it's like we're yeah. we're on the right way. We're, we're on the right yeah. track. We're we're fucking ticking off the things we need to tick off. Yeah, and, and we're I, talking to the people that we need to talk to. Yeah, hundred percent. And I think it's one of those things, bro. You never you never notice it until it's happened. It's no. like deja vu. It you is. Know how many it? times I get deja vu or vertigo, like, and I'm like, this has happened already, but yeah. it's it's happened up here. You know. Yeah, that's because, right. Because law of like I've already definitely believe in law of attraction, but yep. I'm in it like I write down affirmations every day yep. that I practice Man. like I'm I'm already this I'm already that because if I am you are you know the words yeah. that follow I am follow you yeah I can't remember who said it is a really um really really successful real estate investor from Brisbane if I'm not wrong but I can't I can never remember his name but he Man. grew up real rough like his dad was rough as fuck yeah right he grew, had a fucked life he had a hard life and like his boss Matt. or something at the time like pretty much helped him retrain his yep. like, brain anyway it's a guy yeah. I've been watching recently I think it's Matt Stein Steinwide or something he used yeah. to be a bouncer in the cross and involved with some pretty heavy mm. shit back cross. in the day but he but he was a real estate agent and mm. he's one of the best in he's like the highest earner in Australia now he does massive talks and yeah. all the rest of it and I'm pretty sure it's Matt Matt Stein or something but yeah he's as soon as you said real estate agent he's on that same plane he's just yeah. and I think a legend I think um, it's funny you were saying like you you like um, bump into old friends yep. and speaking of real estate agent my friend from school Aaron Pendleton he's a real estate agent as well and I remember bumping him, into him at the plaza and he's like I see you doing that entrepreneurial shit bro you're gonna go far yeah, and like mad. back then when people said stuff like that to me I was like nah bro fuck yeah like who the fuck's this guy no no I was yeah. just like you know like fuck bro like why is he hyping me up when yep. I when I know myself I'm not going to be that? Yep. Oh, I just didn't believe in myself, and now I'm like, fuck! I'll take that shit tenfold. I want to be on four thirty under thirty. Yeah, you know, yeah. like yeah. I'll I'll aim. I'll, I've I'd gone rather, past that. You know, <laughs> shoot high and miss yep. than aim low and score. Fuck Fucking that shit. Over. Shoot Fucking high, over. bro. Even if you miss, like yep. I wanted to make a million dollars by the time I was twenty five. I wanted to be a millionaire status by the time I was twenty five. Twenty five next April. Yeah. Probably not going to happen. I still write it down every day. It's four months away, bro. No. I still write it down every day because fuck who, who knows, bro. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, let alone next week. And like, that's what I said to my mentor as well because my mentor went from like, he he used to work out in Campbelltown. He's a yep. Sydney boy as well. Like, I go to church and I know him very well. But I that's still gone. I know. It's a good battery, bro. Yeah. But, um, you know, he, um, he used to just uh, be a pick packer and that. Yep. And like he had his, I know his mentor's mentor. Like I nice. investigated the fuck out of Go my mentor date. before I spent any money with him. Like yep. everything, like I found yep. every bit of information. Like nice. I asked mates that he was mates with on Facebook and shit. Yep. He's a really, really nice. genuine, honest bloke. Jermaine yep. Turner, man. If you ever need or want a mentor, yep. Jermaine Turner. Yeah, right. Jermaine19 on Facebook, uh, on Instagram, sorry. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Best bloke I've ever met. Cool, really good mate. Yep. Um, perfect course as well. 
But um, but yeah, like uh, he went from zero to seven figures in the space of like two months or something. Fucking hell. You know, online e-com. Yeah. But he tried, like he'd had another brand before that, a clothing brand. Yeah. That was very, like it was well successful for its time, but also like, you know, it was... It's like clothing brands, or it's always unless it's like kind of like our model, like no restock. Yep. Pipe, 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 pipe. It's yep. it's hard to keep it going, but he had that going for a bit, and then but yeah, he went from zero to seven figures in two months. Like it's fucking. Man.